So here we are at the Museum of Mathematics. Now I know what you're thinking. I'm just as skeptical. Museum of Math. I mean, ah, okay. Apparently, actually, there aren't even that many numbers here. It's more just exhibits, which I find kind of intriguing. So, shall we? Glenn, so this is, this is your museum. Hey, yeah. You're the executive director. That's right. The museum of Math. That's right. So we're, this is the coolest thing that's ever happened to mathematics. Okay. And we're going to show people a side of mathematics they've never gotten a chance to see before. I'm, I'm intrigued. After you, Glenn. All right, let's go. All right, Raj, this is mathematics. Uh, this is an exhibit called Tracks of Galileo. The reason it's called Tracks of Galileo is we may remember Galileo was the guy with the telescope. Right. But he also did math. People don't necessarily know that. He, he wanted to know if we have a roller coaster. He didn't think about it in, ro in terms of roller coasters. <laughs> Uh, what's the fastest shape? What, 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 what shape for the track is going to get you from the beginning to the end of the roller coaster as fast as possible? So you can set up any shape track you want. Are you confident with this? Uh, well, I, th I think you'll get there. Maybe not the fastest. Give it a shot. Pretty fast. So, Raj, you want to race? You're going down, man. You ready? All right, on one. Three, two, one. I spent a little more time at the museum, I think. Oh! Glenn, these are, uh... I've never seen a bike like this before. Hey, it's the square wheel trike. So mathematicians, one of the things they do is they discover these principles, and one of them, they're called theorems, and one theorem is there's a road for every wheel. So no matter what shape wheel you give me, I can build a road that it'll ride on smoothly. And so we thought, what's the best shape we could possibly use to demonstrate this? We figured squares, right? Because everybody knows that squares can't roll. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so you solve this equation, and it comes out to be, this is the shape the road has to be. It's made up of curves called catenaries, which is exactly the same shape you get if you hang a chain between two points. All right, and next, Raj, I want to take you downstairs to see the human tree. Okay, I'll meet you there. Everybody in Liberty Treehouse is really going to dig uh, the human tree. So hold your arms up. <laughs> well, what, what do you got going on there? There's a lot of Raj, and a lot of me too. So uh, it takes a picture of you, and then replaces your arms with a smaller, a mini U, and then the arms of that with mini U, and so on, and you get this, this shape, it's called a fractal. Any shape that replicates itself on smaller and smaller scales is a fractal. And real trees that you see all the time in the world around you are fractals, because the basic structure of the tree is the same all the way from the trunk out to the tips of the branches, it just gets smaller and smaller. <laughs> Glenn, what am I doing? Uh, you're in coaster rollers, and uh, we show you here that ball bearings don't have to be round. Uh, they need to be surfaces of constant width. So you see these funny shapes in the track in front of you? Yeah. Uh, they aren't balls, are they? Uh, they're pointy, they got lumpy, but they all have the property that no matter which way they turn, the highest point is always the same height off the ground. Because you're only going to touch each one of those at one spot, and all that matters is if that one spot is the same height off the ground. That's what gives you a smooth ride. Okay, how does this work though? Okay, so you hit the white button there on your left, that releases you, I give you a little push, <laughs> and off you go. And in fact, that's the cross section of a Wankel engine, uh, which you find uh, in uh, Mazda cars. So this is all made possible by Matt. Absolutely. And math is fun. And math is fun. I never thought those words would come out of my mouth until today. There you go. Well, there's a whole lot of cool stuff, but this is the last thing that I really got to show you while you're here, Raj. Uh, this is Math Square. Uh, it picks up where you're standing, spread wide so we can get a bunch of points. This is the shortest network that's going to connect all those points. You can see how it changes as we change <laughs> position. I do have to say, Glenn, I've been more than pleasantly surprised. You single-handedly have made, me, have made me a lot more interested in that. Great, because now you're a part of mathematics, and uh, anybody who wants to can come in and visit us. We're open 10 to 5, 7 days a week. You can find out more at momath.org online. 
Thanks, bud. Hey. I'll see you.